This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Greetings, I am Elder Larry Elston. And I'm Elder Stephanie Elston. And we want to welcome you today to Friday's Midday Mealtime Review from the New Harvest Ministries under the care of Bishop Marcus Aaron Johnson Sr. We just thank you for what you're doing today and being with us. Once again, we're coming to say thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Now let us pray. Dear Lord, we come today to say thank you. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to come, Lord, before your people and you mm -hmm. and to say thank you because you brought us a mighty long way. And we thank you for the review today of Bishop Johnson that we have gotten from him all the week. We thank you for him. Now touch the day. Heal, deliver, and set free where it is needed. And we'll give you all of the praise, all the glory, all of the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Praise God. We're back again and we're ready to allow the Lord to speak to all of us mm -hmm. during this review today. I wish somebody would say, God is love. Amen. God is, God love. is love. Today's uh, first review from Monday, July 31st. Keeping without theme, living to see increase mm -hmm. from Psalm 27, 13, and 14. And the series is entitled, What is Love? The day's lesson is God is Love mm -hmm. from John 3, 16. Mm -hmm. This is uh, an awesome lesson. And God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Bishop included the definition in his teaching from the Bible dictionary that love is the high esteem God has for his children. And because of the hundreds of references to love in the Bible, it is most remarkable. It is the most remarkable book of love in the world, the Bible, mm -hmm. because it records the greatest love story ever written. His question is, why would God extend his love to sinful man, knowing that many would reject him mm -hmm. and his plan of salvation? And the teaching gives the answer. Who love is, is what God, love does. Who love is, is what love does. Yeah. And because God is love, love is what God does. Mm -hmm. Bishop went on to give seven um, periods of time to explain how God's love is given to his children mm -hmm. and throughout the biblical history up until the promised second coming of Christ. I won't go through each seven of those, but they're powerful as we look throughout the Bible to see mm -hmm. examples mm -hmm. of how God shows his love. He gives. God is a giver of love. Amen principle is that true love is unconditional to extend itself without any guarantee of return. Mm -hmm. That is found in John 3.16, but also Psalm 8 and 4. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visited him? Mm -hmm. The insight is God is the source of true love. We can never Forget where true love comes from because yeah. we're looking for it through 
in this world mm -hmm. and other people, but God is the source. Yes, yes. John, first John 4, 7 and 8, beloved, let us love one another for love is of God. And everyone that loves is born of God and know of God. Mm -hmm. The point two is that God so the loved the world that he gave. God, Romans 8, 5, 5, 8, God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yes. He didn't have to do it, but he did. I've included the scriptures, Romans 8, 38, 39, and Jeremiah 31, 3, but I won't read them because of time. Mm -hmm. But going on to point three, God so loved the world <clears throat> that he gave his only begotten son. Now that's powerful. Yes. John 1, 14. And the word Jesus was made flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Again, scriptures 53, 10, Isaiah 53, 10, and John 15, 13. Point number four. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 11, 25 through 26. And Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. And he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Mm. Believest thou this? Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise the Lord. And as we move on to Tuesday's lesson, I just want to say what a great lesson and lessons that Bishop, Bishop gave us or given to us on what is love. This series is awesome mm -hmm. because we're in a world where love is needed. Yes. And it, because there's so much hatred going on. So let us just look and dwell into this great teaching. Uh, I am really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Aren't you? Yes, I am. Elder Stephanie, yes. So thank you. And the title of Tuesday's lesson was Love is What God Does. Mm -hmm. And the text comes from 1 John 4, 9 through 10. In this was manifested the love of God towards us. Because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved yes. us. Yes. Amen. And sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Amen. Amen. I mean, he died for our sins. He did instead of us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the principle, because who God is becomes what God does. Love is the ultimate person, God, acting according to his true nature. Mm -hmm. See, God's nature is love. Oh, hallelujah. In the dispensational love, his innocence from creation to the fall of man. God displays his love by exiling man from the Garden of Eden to prevent man from eating from the tree of life and eternally remaining in a fallen, lost state. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And the point number one is God's love is manifested throughout the dispensation of innocence. Oh, Genesis 3.22 explains this. Then the Lord said, Now that the man has become as we are, knowing good from bad, what if he eats the fruit of the tree of life and lives forever? 
So the Lord banished him forever from the Garden of Eden mm -hmm. and sent him to form the ground from which he had been taken, to form that ground. Thus God expelled him and placed mighty angels at the east of the Garden of Eden with a flaming sword to guard the entrance to the tree of life. Amen. And point number two tells us, God's love is manifested throughout the dispensation of conscience. Genesis 7 and 23. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle and the creeping things and the fowl of the heaven. And they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only remained alive, and that were with him in the ark. Mm. Amen, amen, amen. And then point number three tells us God's love is manifested throughout the dispensation of human government as well. Mm. Genesis 9, 16 to 17. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it mm -hmm. that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. Amen. Amen. And point number four from Bishop tells us this, God's love is manifested throughout the dispensation of promise. Somebody say the promises of the Lord. The promises. The promises. Of the Lord. Genesis 12, 1 through 2. Now the Lord has said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto the land that I will show thee. And I will make all thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. Thou shalt be a blessing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Point number five, God's love is manifested throughout the dispensation of the law. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Exodus 19, five through six. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto the kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Point number mm -hmm. six, God's love is manifested throughout the dispensation of grace. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord for grace. Mm -hmm. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Amen. Then leads us to point number seven. God's love will be manifested throughout the dispensation of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Revelations 21 through 2. And I say, an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and great chain in his hand. And he laid hold of the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Oh, that's our kingdom of God. Yes. What is our final takeaway from Tuesday's lesson? The Bible documents God's love throughout every dispensation as God faithfully loves according to who he is. It's an action word. Amen. 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 Can we just thank God for yes. the Bible, the word of God? Yes. Which is a love story. Yes. And explains as we just going through those seven dispensations mm -hmm. of God giving his love to us yes. that we don't even deserve. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. On Wednesday, August 2nd, the series continues, What is Love? And the title of Wednesday's lesson is Love Where I Dwell. Amen. This was another awesome lesson. Yes. It just made me think of the song, uh, All is Well, mm -hmm. Because in Christ I Dwell. Amen. If we can dwell in Christ, we will be dwelling in love. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. 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 First John four sixteen. And we have known and believed the word, the love that God had given to us. Why? Because God is love. Mm -hmm. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. Yes. And God in him. Yes. Amen. First John four sixteen. From the Living Bible, we know how much God loves us because we have felt His love. That's right. And because we believe Him, when He tells us that He loves us dearly, mm -hmm. God is love, and anyone who lives in love is living with God, and God is living in Him. Mm -hmm. We're living. To see increase because we can dwell in the love of God. Mm. The principle Bishop gives in this lesson says, Since who God is, is what God does. Mm. Love is God being himself, existing and acting according to his divine nature. Enabling his children, that's us, to acquire his nature mm. and live accordingly. Mm. What the world needs now is love. What the world needs now is God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Definition, to dwell is to, to abide, to live, exist, and reside at a specific place. To mention around. There's also a thought to ponder. Where we dwell and abide speaks of more than our physical our bodies. Mm -hmm. Not what our eyes can see, but also our spirits and souls. Mm -hmm. Everything we think and feel and do is processed through our dwelling place. Remember the song, In Christ I Dwell? Mm -hmm. That's when all is well. Yes. First John 4, 16a. And we have known and believed that the love that God had to us. So the point one, which is highlighted, is dwelling in love mm -hmm. enables a believer to know the true love of God. Mm-hmm. First John 4, 10, in, in this act, we see what real love is. This is the living Bible. It is not our love for God, but his love for us. Mm -hmm. When he sent his son to satisfy God's anger against our sin. Mm -hmm. Point two highlighted is dwelling in love. Mm -hmm. Enables a believer to comprehend the unfathomable dimensions of God's love. Mm -hmm. This means unlimited. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 3, 17 through 19. Mm -hmm. That Christ may dwell in your hearts mm -hmm. by faith. Mm -hmm. That ye being rooted and grounded in love, in love. May be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, and depth and height in verse 18 and to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge you can't understand it mm -hmm. that we might be filled with all the fullness of God I don't know about you but I want to be filled with the fullness of God so that means we have to empty out and so God can fill us I like three, which is the third point. Dwelling in love enables God to consistently love through the believer, that's us, mm -hmm. so that we can reach out to others. First John 4.24, And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. Mm -hmm. And hereby we know that he abideth in us, by the spirit which he hath given us. Mm -hmm. 
1 John 4, 18, for there is no fear in love. No fear. But perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect mm. in love. Mm. And our final takeaway from Wednesday, the scripture Isaiah 55, 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yes. Call upon him while he's near. Mm. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Yes. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Mm. That's the grace and mercy of God. Yes. Seeking the Lord is to dwell in the love of God mm. that far exceeds human love. Mm. Isaiah 55 and 8. But my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. Whereas the love of God is considered irrational mm -hmm. by carnal mankind, dwelling in the love of God makes perfect sense mm. to the believer dwelling in the realm and dimension of the spirit. Amen. Mm. Lord, help us to dwell yes, Lord. in the spirit. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Final insight. Yes. Whereas dwelling outside the love of God and his word produces drought, mm. fruitful Less fruitlessness and pain mm -hmm. dwelling in the love of God produces rain fruitfulness and joy mm -hmm. let's consider our dealings with life challenges as believers mm -hmm. ask ourselves the question mm -hmm. what viable options do we have to rightly respond to our scenarios the things that are going on in our life mm -hmm. in the context of dwelling in the love of God. Amen. So the question is, is love where I dwell? Where I dwell. Amen. Amen. And this series on what is love as we move on into Thursday's lesson. And the title was, What Should the Love of God Look Like in Our Lives? Mm -hmm. What should it look like? What should we act like? Well, here is what 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 3 tells us. Though I speak with the tongue of men and of angels and have not charity, I have become a sounding bass or tinking cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, talking about love, I am nothing. <clears throat> and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned mm -hmm. and have not charity, love, it profited me mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. Somebody say Nothing comes from not having love. Oh, highlight number one. The love of God in our lives should appear consistent with the gifts and fruits of the Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Highlight number two tells us the love of God in our lives should appear as the fruit of the Spirit and not the works of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Now Galatians 5, 19 to 23 explains this. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, adultery, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murder, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the past, that they which do such things 
shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit, somebody said, but the fruit of the Spirit, the of the Spirit. is love. It starts off with love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such things there is no law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Highlight number three says the love of God in our lives should always appear appealing unto God. Mm -hmm. That's who we want to appeal to. 1 Samuel 16, uh, uh, 7. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long would thou moan for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill, fill thine horn with oil and go. And I will send thee to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. Mm -hmm. And Samuel said, and this so we can sort of compare ourselves to how can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, take a heifer with thee and say, I'm come to sacrifice to the Lord. Anybody want to sacrifice today? And call Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show thee what thou do. And thou shalt anoint unto me whom I name unto thee. And Samuel did that, which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peacefully? And he said, Peacefully? I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called on them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's countenance or the height of his stature, because I have refused him. Mm -hmm. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, mm -hmm. hear me now, mm -hmm. and looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. It's where our love come from. Highlight number four, the love of God. Mm -hmm. mm. The love of God in our lives mm -hmm. should always appear to be growing. Mm -hmm. Hear that again? Mm -hmm. The love of God in our life should always appear to be growing. And that 1 Corinthians 13 and 11 explains this. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. And I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Mm -hmm. Amen. And what's our final takeaway? And it, it is a song on the final takeaway that Bishop gave to us is I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, seeking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry and from the waters lifted me. Now safe am I. Somebody say now safe. Am I? Yeah, Hallelujah. And the yeah. chorus of it is love yeah. lifted me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Love yeah. lifted yeah. me when nothing yeah. else could help. Yeah. Love yeah. lifted yeah. me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for love. Nothing, God, like your love. Yes. God, thank you. We want to pray now. Mm. Thank you, Lord God, for this meal that you've given us. Yes. All week. Teaching us, God, more mm -hmm. about your unconditional love. Yes. God, we can't thank you enough mm -hmm. for loving us mm -hmm. first, God, and helping us to learn mm -hmm. to love you yes. and to love others. Yes. God, we thank you today. Thank you. And we thank you for helping us to dwell mm. today in this word to remind us that no, nothing is greater than you and your love for us. So we thank you, Lord. We bless you today. We ask you to bless your people. Thank you for our bishop 
And thank you for blessing New Harvest. Yes. With more love. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray and help us to grow. Yes, Lord. In grace and love. Amen. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Now, please don't forget to hit that like button. And we love you. Love you. Bless you all. God bless.